Welcome to Tackett's House of Horsepower. It's me, Steve Tackett, and I may have just saved the day or made the dumbest decision ever. I don't know yet, but let's find out. So today is not my day off. I uh, did not spend the day working in the garage, working on the little 65 like I would like to, but no. I was at work at my day job and uh, I got a notification on my phone, marketplace, you know, of course. And uh, turns out a turbo 350 transmission just popped up like 10 miles from my house. So. I send the guy a message and uh, here's, I'll put the ad right here. You can read the description, read the description and you, you tell me if this seems too good to be true or not. Okay. A turbo 350 with a trans brake, manual revert, a reverse pattern, manual valve body trans brake turbo 350 for 400 bucks. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it uh, it's it might be a really stupid idea, but I went down and bought it because I I need a transmission and I need it right now. So the question is, do I throw this four hundred dollar transmission unknown into the car and just full send trans brake and go? Or do we, we should, I guess we should probably drop the pan and take a look at it and see what's in the pan. Cause it, it, in the description, he did say first gear was making some noises, noises, noisy, noisy first gear. So I need to do a little quick diagnosis on this transmission and see if I take it to my new tranny guy and have him go through it real quick. Maybe he can turn it around quick enough to get it back to me to get it in. Or do we roll the dice and just hit the button, literally, and just see what happens. You know what I mean? See, see what happens. I don't know, let's get it on the stand. Let's pull the pan and the pan's gonna tell us what it looks like and it, it, it's gonna tell on itself, hopefully. And uh, we either slap the pan back on and go, or I gotta take a trip down and drop this thing off, like right now. So let's do that. Okay, literally, I just just got home. I saw this, I hit the guy up, and uh, here we go. First impressions, it's been sitting for a little bit it's kind of dirty but I don't know it does have a trans brake solenoid on it so that that part's true it does not have a converter but it looks I don't know kind of dirty there might be a couple miles on it we don't know we don't know so let's get it out of here get the pan off of it and uh, see what it looks like. Okay, I got it out of the truck. I did not flip it over or anything like that. I want everything that's in the pan to stay in the pan. Cause we're gonna drop this thing down and it's gonna tell us what's going on. It's gonna tell me if I just wasted $400 or <laughs> not.
Uh oh. Oh. All right, now, some of you probably started laughing at me at the beginning of this. And you said, $400 for a Turbo 350 with a manual valve body, reverse manual valve body with a trans brake? There's no way. That's probably a bad deal. Well, you would have been right. Because uh, there's a lot of metal chunks floating around in this pan. Oh, no. All right, I'll show you. At first, I got all excited. I was like, man, the fluid looks nice and pink. And then, I, and then I started to kind of move it around and it's, it's full of metal shavings. What is that? Oh no. Well, looks like I just bought a $400 core. So, oh, this car. This car is fighting me. I, I, you're, I want you to go to duct tape drags, okay? And I'm trying to get you there, but you, you're acting like you don't even want to go. You know, you, you're acting like you don't even want to. Well, I don't know. There's a little bit more in here. See the shavings? <laughs> That's not good. It's not good. I just don't trust it. If it was just clutches, clutch material in the pan, I would say, all right, no problem. I'd stick a new filter in it and probably send it. But there's metal, there's something going on. And I have a, in this box down here, that Summit box down there, I got a brand new torque converter. You know, it's a cheapy converter. It's just a little whole shot 3500, but I don't want to, I don't want to stick a brand new converter on here. And uh, I mean, it looks fairly nice, but something happened. Something, something happened. And I don't know what, but if I stick it in and it doesn't work, I'm going to ruin a brand new converter probably. You know what I mean? Like at this point, I might as well just call my transmission, my new transmission guy and uh, see what he can do for me. Maybe he can give me a quick turnaround. Maybe it's nothing crazy, you know, maybe it's something simple. I just don't know. If I can get it to him Monday, maybe he can get it back to me next week. There's still a chance. Still a chance. Because I mean, I need the car running and driving because I need to go up front in alignment. And there's, you know, there's stuff that needs to get done to the car after it gets running and driving, you know. So I can't just throw a transmission in it the day before, or the weekend before. Like I need, you know, in order for this thing to safely make passes at the track. You know, I need to go through the brakes and I need to put some miles on it, maybe drive it to work a couple times, you know, do a front alignment. All that stuff needs to get done. So I don't want to just stick a transmission in this thing. You know, what if it's no good? What if I ruin a converter? What if I can't get it back in time, though? So I don't know. This this car going to duct tape drags is... It, the, the the window's getting smaller and smaller. So we might be we might be pulling out old faithful over there. Who knows? But I'm gonna give it a try. I just wanna give you I just wanted to get a little bit of an update and uh film what I've been doing. So I mean I'm trying. You know what I mean? I'm trying. Okay. So that's gonna be it for me today. I'm gonna get my work boots off, you know. 
steel toe boots all day is not that much fun. I, I like, I prefer my flip flops. Okay. I, I'm, I'm comfortable in my flip flops. So that's the transmission update. Um, I'm going to shut this off. I'm going to continue this video. We're going to, we got a bunch of work we can do to this car this week. I've got some uh, stuff from classic industries. And of course, we got to fix windows and bumpers and trim and chrome. And I, there's a lot of work I can still do. Put the seat in it. There's stuff I can do to the car while I'm waiting on the transmission this week. So anyways, I'm going to shut this off. For you, it's going to be a couple seconds. For me, it's going to be a couple days. But I'll be back at it. We're going to keep going. Don't just, just hang on. Good morning. Welcome back. It's been a couple of days. I got updates. So the transmission, I dropped it off at the new transmission guy who comes highly recommended. He's a, uh, he's a local racer guy. Well known. Anyways, he took one look at the transmission and was like, yeah, there's metal in the pan. So of course he's going to recommend a full rebuild and he's right. So I told him to take it apart, see what it needs. Call me. Let's just fix it right. It's better to pay now than to pay later. Like I said, if you take that and you try to run it or you try to just slap a filter in it and go, you're probably going to ruin the transmission. You're going to cause more damage than already is already done. And you're probably going to ruin your brand new converter. And it's it the price only goes up from there. Like it, it only gets more expensive. So I told him, just fix it right. Let's get it apart, find out what's going on. So I'm waiting on a call back from him. But uh, I told him to just take care of it, you know, whatever. I need it. I only have a few weeks to finish this car, get it running, driving, brakes, suspension, alignment, like, you know, drive shaft. I, I have a lot of work to do in only a few days, a week to do it. And there's only like four or five weeks. So, yeah. Anyway, the show must go on. So, I have... A package that just showed up the other day from uh, Classic Industries. I think it's my front turn signals and a bunch of stuff, uh, random stuff, speedometer cables, things like that. Random miscellaneous stuff. So we're gonna throw that stuff in today. I'm gonna stay busy no matter what. I'm gonna stay busy every day, move, move the ball forward. You know what I mean? So uh, let's get to work. All right, let's see what we got. We got some goodies. There's some good stuff. We did pretty good. I've got uh, front turn signals, left and right. I got a brake pedal cover, we need that. I got a windshield wiper switch, we need that. Oh, this is the grommet for the uh, cable for the speedometer. We're gonna have a functioning speedometer. Uh, this is a little bracket for the trunk, trunk lock, so I can put that in. I don't have to keep opening the trunk with a screwdriver, that'd be good. Uh, door switches for the lights. It's gonna have a functioning dome light even. I got a mirror and uh, I needed one bracket for the fender. I couldn't find one. I know I have them, I just can't find them. So I had to order them. And of course they only sell them in pairs, you know. So there you go. Anyway, that's plenty to do today, I think. Get down in here. Oh, get on there. Improvement. All right. It's a show car now. Look at that. Well, guess what? Get this little fun fact. 100 series Novas are the, the they're the cheap model, the base model, the poor man's Nova, the business coupe. They're such a base model that they don't have these little switches. I thought they did. There's a there's no hole for it. There's no hole for it, and there's no wiring behind it either. I just checked. So there is the orange and white wire, but it only goes to the switch. 
So it does have a dome light. See the wire, the orange and white wire? That's gonna go up to the dome light, but it'll only work manually. You have to turn that backwards like that. So it will have a dome light, but not with the door switch. I checked both sides too. There's no wires behind it and there's no hole for it. It's not, it's not drilled. So uh, yeah, I, I totally spaced it. I should have known better. 100 series Novas are the cheap model, like really cheap model. They didn't want to throw these in. They were too cheap to throw these in. <laughs> so, all right, moving right along. Okay, I got a dumb question. Why don't they just make the cable with a grommet on it already? They, they make you buy it separate, right? So you buy this grommet and it pops into the firewall, you know? But look at the hole in this grommet. Like, it's hard rubber. There's no way you're gonna get that through there. There's, that's not gonna happen. So I guess you gotta cut it. You gotta cut a notch in it so you could get the, get the cable through it. I don't know. Why not, why not just make the cable with grommet on it? I don't know. All right, let me pop this in. All right, speedometer cable and grommet are done. One less hole in the firewall, at least. So it's hooked up to the speedometer, but you know, obviously we don't have a transmission yet. So whatever. All right, let's check out these turn signals. You gonna help? Are you gonna help? Huh? You guys are gonna be big helpers, huh? Well, you know what sucks? Of course, it doesn't come with mounting hardware. So now I gotta track down some screws that fit this. All right, here we go. Let's try it now. Okay, got him in, let's see what it looks like. Do we have running lights? Scout, you're blocking the camera. Well, we got running lights. Let's see, do we have turn signals? Yeah. Look at that. She's street legal. Looks pretty good. Not bad. I'll take it. It's a win. Okay, I went ahead and stuck the bracket in the corner of the fender right there. That way uh, the fender's not flopping around anymore. Next, I guess I can uh, stick this guy on here, right here. I'll go ahead and do that next. Well, wouldn't you just know it? The door's got four holes in it already and they don't line up. 
there's no way. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to drill new holes trying to cover up the old holes. So, but the main thing you gotta watch out for when you're putting a rear view mirror on is you gotta make sure, like if I was to try to use those holes somewhere back here, look what happens to the wing window. You can't open the wing window. And we can't have that because that's our air conditioner. So this has to open and close. I mean, it has to. So I need to move this down further, somewhere here, here, you know what I mean? So this thing, when it opens and closes, will clear the mirror. So I need to make this somewhere down here. You know what I mean? So anyways, let me mark this up and drill some holes, drill some more Swiss cheese on top of that Swiss cheese. All right, how's that? Even got a little bow tie on it. Pretty sweet. And the uh, vent window still opens and closes. So that's good. All right, we got a rear view mirror. We're getting more and more legal by the minute. Now, I've been getting real tired of having to stick my finger in the hole here to open the door. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw the handles on. They're kind of ugly. They were just in the trunk, but they'll work. So I might as well put them on, door locks too. I'm just trying to put stuff together as much as I can. Check it out. That's more convenient. And check this out. I installed my security system. Yeah. Nobody's stealing this car. Yeah. Check this out. Look at how cheesy these keys are. Look at these little cheap knockoff keys. Come on, Classic Industries. What is this? Well, nothing can be easy, I swear. So I'm working on the driver's side. I try to put the handle in and it doesn't fit. It hits like up here somewhere. And I'm looking at this, I'm like, wait a minute. That's like a Chevelle door mechanism. So I went out to the shed and I've got a set of four door doors. And uh, this is totally different. This one is totally different. So I've got a, I've got this piece. I gotta get that yellow paint off of there. It's pretty ugly. But I need to find a rod because this is a four door rod and it's shorter. So the rod that connects down to the inside handle, I'm missing. And uh, yeah. So let me see if I got one. I'm running into problems. All right, sweet. So I got a set of uh, two door post doors out in my shed. So I took the rod out of one of them. Now I just gotta switch it out with that one and finish scraping the yellow paint off. That's what I was doing right now. Scrape the yellow paint off it, switch out the rods, and I should have a working driver door here shortly. Well, we got this part working, right? But then we come down here, and this part's all just busted. So I guess I gotta go back out there and steal some more parts. <laughs> I go from there to there, down to there now. So eventually we'll get a driver door here. All right, some more yellow parts off of the four door doors. Good thing four doors and two doors are the same because uh, it works. Anyway, the uh, old one has a broken spring and there's also a T. There's supposed to be a T on the end of this that goes into the slot at the end of this. And it's broken off, as you can see. There's no T on the end of this. So, that one's garbage. This one is less garbagey. 
it has the T on the end, so the rod is connected, but the spring, the spring is also broken. So I, I still need one. I might have another one out there. I don't know. I have to look for it. But for now, it appears to be working. From the outside. And if I reach in, I can open it. The only problem is it doesn't retract on its own. So that's a problem. But anyways, it's functioning. So I guess let's move on to the trunk. Check this out. I put my little bracket in there, my lock cylinder, and my rod. So check it out. Watch this. Uh -huh. I can open and close everything without using a screwdriver. So that's, that's progress. I went ahead and finished off my lock cylinder kit by putting in the, uh, glove box lock. So now all the keys match. Ta-da. So that's cool. I really want to work on this stuff back here. There's some trim that needs to go on it. And this back bumper is like, it's like being held on with like one bolt. So I don't know. I gotta see what's going on with that. It's missing some bolts and the license plate light is missing. So I need to do that. Pop all this trim on. I'll try to make it look as complete as possible here. Well, I figured out why the bumper's flopping around. It's only being held on with like one bolt. All the bolts are broken. <laughs> oh no. There's one there. There's one there. <laughs> oh no. And there's one there. <laughs> oh, that one's missing. <laughs> What's holding it on? Like, <laughs> well, there goes the rest of my day probably. I'm gonna be drilling and tapping and heating and juicing bolts, it looks like. Well, great. See, nothing can be easy, I swear. If you grew up in the 80s, you probably had this blanket. You know, the one with all the baseball emblems anyways i got the bumper off and uh there is missing and broken bolts everywhere this is going to be a problem oh yeah that's probably not going to want to come out so i'm going to start drilling and tapping and spraying and praying and spraying and drilling and tapping probably not in that order i don't know so we got missing bolts, we got broken bolts. It's kind of a mess, but we'll see if we can get this bumper straightened out and at least held on with more than one and a half bolts. Check this out. Did you know that if you take a quarter inch star socket, I guess, you know, the tap fits right in there. You don't have to try to use those little handles that never want to stay on and fall off you can do it like this i use a socket i use the ratchet it's a little faster i think i like it anyways let's get started <sighs> okay well things escalated okay Wor words were said but we're over that now we're through it okay we gotta move forward now. Well, three up, three down. Oh, what a pain in the you know what. Well, that was an adventure, let me tell you. But all the bolts are fixed. 
Everything that was stripped out is fixed. Everything that was broken or missing is fixed. Got the old holes tapped out. Everything is bolted up nice and tight. You could even, you could even tow a trailer with this thing now. Look. Oh yeah. I know that doesn't look like much, but that is a major win. <laughs> I know most people are like, yeah, whatever. And uh, also, I plugged in my license plate light. So we got that too. But right there. Well, I'll just stay in there. What do you think? Doesn't look like much, but believe me, that was a lot of work. <laughs> okay, well, I do have a bunch of chrome in the uh, trunk pieces and the side pieces. I could put those on, but I'm running out of daylight. I gotta clean up, eat dinner, and our friend's coming into town, so I gotta get to the airport pick them up but we did all right today i think we did all right the other thing i got up here i don't know if you saw this earlier but i did get a rubber trim or rubber gasket for this window and uh i've done this before by myself it's not fun you got to put the rubber on the glass put the trim into the rubber to and then run a rope in the lid there, get it all soapy, stick it on here. It helps if you got somebody pushing on it and you pull the rope, you know, around and you get that lip to pop in. Well, I would attempt it myself, but I'm really scared of breaking this glass. Because this is a 100 series Nova, it's a post 65 small back window. So they only made this glass for one year. So you really, really don't want to break that piece of glass. I mean, you can find them, but it's it's not fun. So I don't know, I gotta get this apart. I gotta get all this silicone out of here. So I'll scrape all this, I'll clean all this up, and then I'll probably call a glass guy that we know, and I'll have him come out and help me. And uh, we'll get that back window popped in get the rest of this trim on here i gotta fix a couple other little issues still and uh hopefully we got a transmission coming well the sweat stains have reached my belly button so you know what that means it means we've done enough for today <laughs> that's what that means so uh i really appreciate you guys hanging out with me please hit like hit subscribe all that and uh leave me a comment all that stuff is really helpful to me and uh, hopefully, with any luck, the great transmission debacle of 2024 will be completed by next week, hopefully. So, till then, see ya.